Hey there guys, my name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and welcome not only back to another episode of Mini 39, but the official start of Miku Month. And I figured for this special episode of Mini 39, instead of our usual six episodes, to, uh, six episodes, six requests that we do, <laughs> yes, every episode equals six episodes inside the episode. It's a weird conspiracy, but instead of six songs, I figured since it is the 10th anniversary, it would make sense if we did 10 requests for this episode. I probably will be doing 10 at the end of the month as well. I won't be doing 10 all the time, considering the fact that that might take quite a while to do. But I figured to kind of hype up the month a little bit more alongside the introduction and what's to be ahead of it, 10 requests would be pretty good. So if you're excited for that, definitely leave a like, leave a comment with your requests in the the comment section below with the format in the description below. I normally don't set it early, I wait until the end, but I'm definitely hyped. You guys should be hyped as well. And uh yeah, share because it, it's ten it's ten requests! That's a rarity! Anyways, let's start off with what looks like a new person and I can't blame you if you made the name because you saw my previous episodes and you cringed! Cause cringe Chen requested Tell Your World that you cringed. No, okay, I'll, I'll stop doing that. But this ser this person seriously requested to tell your world on hard with Miku, and we have to put Miku in a Miku Dio mask. And I figured to keep it original, I just went with the original outfit, though. Is there really anything else I could have done? Like, what's this one? Star. Like, I kind of want something that says Miku Dio, but like this. I guess we'll switch it up a bit. We'll go with Hatune Miku. That looks a little better, actually. Looks a little bit more like uh, Miku Dial there. So it's on hard mode. I have not played the song in a while, and I actually did perfect it. I think it was on my own time, actually. Am I going to perfect it now? It would be nice, but I don't think I will. I'll just go in anyways and see how well I can do anyways. I guess that's always the fun of these sort of things. Need to actually... I shouldn't be talking over this song, it is really beautiful. It is one of my favorites from Life Tune. And I think this starts the four buttons, right? That's right! Yeah, um, we're <laughs> starting that over. That was something. I normally don't do that, but that was like, no, we can, we can do that so much better. Whatever you want to do four buttons, I have my thumb on it. Alright, one more time. Again, normally don't do that, but I'm like, uh, I can get past the beginning. If I can get past that, then oh, it should be said, because the beginning should be not be that bad. Did I get a save? Well, I Pat used up my three attempts, so it's too late for that. Oh, that was close. That was my fault. That was my fault. How am I getting good on these? I... Seems like a gun, though. What the heck? Oh, 
your world. Got it. Okay. Now I get cool on that one. Okay. That makes sense. Freak, man! I'm actually kind of pissed that I actually didn't get that. Um, because I remember playing that so much, practicing it, by that I mean. And yet, that, <laughs> that's just that's insult right there. As a person who's perfected it and has not done it in a while, that's kind of insulting. And yes, I'll take four negatives over a lot, especially the fact I've not done it in a while, but that part right there, the fact that I messed up so badly on that part just gets on my nerves. I will not let that go. I will not, as a perfectionist, I will not let that go. That won't mean, that doesn't mean we'll try again. <laughs> I'll do that my own part, but just know I did at one point perfect the song with 101.75% and that was on my own time. Unfortunately I won't be able to show it off here, but as long as we can get it in our sights here, that's good enough for me. Anyways, thank you Cringe Chen for that request. Though I had to do it three times and one take. <laughs> at least the beginning part. Um, that was definitely a fun request. I will definitely do that again. Ooh. In the near future. Must be the cars. <laughs> and let's move on to our next one. I shall introduce this next person the way this person read the comment. Laskun, 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 Laskun! You requested Kimi no Titan with Niku! With Hard! I cannot. I, I, I cannot. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Um. But this person, Laskun, requested Kimi no Titan on Hard with Miku. And we pick the module that we want, which I'll show right now. And he also suggested that the, uh, the 39th ninth episode be, uh, be a light stream. I may or may not have that in the back of my mind. Eight more episodes and we shall find out if that actually happens, hmm? All right, so for the module, I went with Supreme, but the hairdo I'm going with Rin style, just because it kind of looks cute together. Almost like a little girl dress of sorts, except she's older, so it's not as cute. Wow! Take take a second there and realize that didn't sound good in either out loud or in my head. <laughs> Dang, anyways. Uh, right now it's a currently 64.59. Can I improve that? Um I'm predicting slightly, maybe like a 70% at most. If, if I don't even pass this, I'm gonna get scared. <laughs> I've I perfected My bad. Forgot how kind of fast it was. Come on, I did not get...
So much focusing, it's not even funny. Ah! I should not have gotten those ones, but okay. Wow, okay, I was expecting a 70%, but I actually get got a 75. Okay, I am perfectly content with that, although not really content with 17 worse misses and almost and 10 bad saves. I'll work on that, <laughs> as I mentioned, so many episodes, but apparently barely gotten to it eventually on my own time. But I'd say that's a pretty darn good improvement over what well, was 64 before, so slightly improving. I'm getting there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I did not be. I'm getting to the point where I want to try again. Uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Lost Coon, for that request, and let us move on to our next one. Alright, next one is a one we could slightly improve on. We have a 70.93%, but next one comes to us so, so late. <laughs> Starman325 requested Ohai Yodel with, on hard with Miku using the Sleepy Time module. Technically, if we're using the Sleepy Time module, would this make the song Ohai Yondel? Oh! Puns! That was more like a Vocaloid dad joke because <laughs> it's sleepy time. You know what? I, I'm not gonna explain the whole joke. If I did, I would kind of ruin it. So, <laughs> again, this is a 70.93, and unlike the last one, which is a 6.5, completely reasonable to have a 70%, or in the case of Luka Luka Night Fever, um, I'm almost close. This is no. This is no. This needs to change. From the 70% it's at, to hopefully something higher. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but fingers crossed that we can make it happen. No, not fingers crossed. Everything crossed. Believe in the heart of the cards, but I mean, I believe in myself because I've been improving over the series, so... I believe in myself every single time. It's the key that happens. Alright, so far so good. Okay, cool! Great one part. Okay. As long as I still got it. Okay. 
Bob Ross that, Miku. Bob Ross that. Ooh, I'm doing good. I'm not jinxing anything. I'll probably do bad. Won't well, annoy me, watch. It'll happen. <laughs> nice background, so she's sleeping on a cloud. Sleepy time makes sense. See, I told you. Okay, wow, um, major improvement on that one. I went from a 70-something percent to an 85.9. Or if you run it up, 90... <laughs> yeah, it's not 96. 86! That's what I call an improvement! Definitely a good improvement, though, really, the safes... Gotta be a little bit less. Gotta practice a little bit more. Darn it! But I'm content with... And 85 and a great, I guess you could say it's a great start to an improvement. Ah, uh, okay, Sleepy Module is definitely, definitely a good one. It, I think it brought me the lock. Sarcastically saying it was actually my skills, but I'd like to believe that the heart of the, the dad joke, the Ohai Yondol, actually helped me a bit. So, <laughs> thank you, Starman, for that, I guess, dad joke inspiration. <laughs> and thank you, dude, for that request. Let's move on to the next one, and hopefully to see another request from you. Hopefully it's uh, just as fun as this one. Alright, next one comes to us from a Kakamine fan, who requested, Hello, worker! I almost said, Hello, humans! I realize that's Yo Schiller's line, and shout out to Yo Schiller now. Hello, human! Uh, who requests, oh, uh, Hello, worker on hard with Mako using the graduate module. And I figured since this is a business thing, I'd go with the... Not the nurse cap. The silver rimless glasses, because that actually kind of looks nice. Um, the module, and there it is, graduate. I kept the hairstyle the same because I couldn't really find any other ones that could actually work. Plus, it actually looks nice on it, so I went with that. Anyways, I never even played this song as a six star. Knowing me, because I haven't practiced this song yet, maybe as uh, I wouldn't say 70 or 60 or something like that. It would depend on how difficult the song actually is, which I don't think is that difficult. I am overestimating. I'm fully aware of that. <laughs> um, so maybe between a 70 to 80 percent is my uh, final prediction for how well I'm going to do. If it turns out I do much worse, I'm not going to accept that. I need to get at least within my prediction. Darn it. So I will try to cut out. Nice office. Off to a good start. <laughs> Eh. Also, is this Mako's voice? No, this is Lucas' voice. Just sounded to make to me. Well, I definitely missed a few notes, but...
<laughs> oh, freaking! Alright, let's see if we can get back to at least close to excellent. I. But this is my first attempt, and I'm not doing that bad, actually. In fact, I like it. <laughs> Are we working them all this whole time? Oh, frickin'. Oh, frickin'. Ooh! Okay, you know what? For a first attempt, 81, I... As I mentioned before, I was expecting an 80 to 70%, but 1.64 over, I will actually take that. Um... I'm actually curious on something, not how many things I got safe and missed on because it is my first attempt. I'm fully aware. I how did I get more worse and almost and misses than safes? That's. Uh, okay. Sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. Thought I was gonna get more safes for some odd reason, but nope. Then again, I did miss a couple notes just to uh, recalibrate my buttons and whatnot, but still, for what it is, it's actually not bad for me getting a grade on this one. Um, but my curiosity is, did that switch voices? Exactly what I thought, so that was entirely Luca's voice. I, I thought I had to change vocals options, but I guess not. So that's really nice to know. Anyways, thank you, Kakamini fan, for- HELLO, WORKER! <laughs> HELLO, HUMANS! <laughs> HELLO, YOSHILLER! Hello, copyright claims! <laughs> Let's move on to the next request. <laughs> bye bye humans! Whoosh! Uh, might as well, since I just copied it. <laughs> repeat now! Repeat, repeat, repeat now! Repeat now! Repeat now! Repeat, repeat, repeat now! <laughs> uh, anyways. Next request comes to us from Aubrey Cantrell. I can't trell. If you requested the lie, you know you did like the previous episode ago, so I can't really complain. <laughs> Who requested wrench it now? Wrench it now! Wrench it, wrench it, wrench it now! Wrench it now! Wrench it now! Wrench it, wrench it, wrench it now! I can't stop saying that. It's so catchy. I don't know why. Um, on hard, youth Miku and Mako, and we have to use the random Miku and Mako modules. So, with that being said, let's see what we get for Miku. Something good. Oh, it doesn't say? Okay, I never knew that. Okay, um, in that case, and random Mako, correct? Oh, wow. I thought I'd just give you, give you that right off the bat. I have a feeling that's gonna distract me <laughs> in the very beginning. <laughs> oh no, I'm in for a bolt ride, aren't I? Anyways, 6703 with how we're gonna do. Yeah, I wouldn't actually be surprised if we went lower because of the random things. Um, I don't think... I don't know... I think it'll be able to show us before we hit the notes. Either that or I'm gonna be like totally surprised as we hit a note and completely miss the beginning part. Oh, no, 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 no. Unless I do that. I like the outfits.
Oh, okay. And this is Yield YouTube! I got so many saves, what the heck? specifically on all the buttons! All the buttons! All of them! What?! <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I have doubts that this game was rigged, but I clearly hit the last four no things. Hopefully this is the last salty time of this recording. Jeez! That is rigged. I am sorry, but uh, that is so rigged. Good news is I beat my record, yay, but bad news is that just happened. Unbelievable. Anyways, thank you Aubrey for that request and for experience allow me to uh, experience something embarrassing even for me just when I you thought my passing were rigged that was beyond rigged I know a lot of people be saying will follow the the thing that's recommended on the screen but my thumbs are big enough to help push all the buttons you get what is that you will push all the buttons and screw the other I don't know why all right I'm gonna take a breather and I'm gonna move on to the next one <laughs> thank you again Aubrey let's go you know, with Rin not appearing, perhaps this is a good sign that she will appear here. <laughs> because this next one kind of explains how that my emotions with that one went. Which is Meltdown by Zekward LP. He requested this song on hard with Rin, and the additional features are question mark. Sir? Why are they question marks? Do tell, I'm scared. Uh, is it to keep the modules? Um, I don't really know, but I think I can stick with this one. It's reactor with the long hair. It kind of also matches uh, her video right here, like her uh, her thumb, her uh, her album cover. Just realized that it's actually nice. So good job to requested that. Um, was that during the um? Ah, shoot, what episode was that? The 29th, right? Was when I last did it. I think it was the 29th, so shout out to the person who did that request um, in the 29th episode, or who suggested that and got featured in the 29th episode. 20, 29th, I'm pretty sure it's 29th, but as you can see, I've been practicing a lot of this song. I, I've i fallen in love with the song. I think it's my favorite Rin song of all time. It used to be Sweet Magic, but after listening to this and finding out like the the um, the, the meanings of the lyrics, it's, it's quite mysterious and I like it. Um. I won't go too much into details in uh, the translations and the meanings of the layers because it's not YouTube advertiser friendly, apparently. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna jump right in and hope I... My highest is 90%, so... I don't think I'll get much higher than that. Hopefully I actually will get higher than that. Sorry, I gotta go focus mode. Oh, okay, I hope I can get this one. I always get safe on that, I don't know why. See if we can keep that one safe. Oh, I almost got more than one. Oh, I didn't let me do that a little early, but I'm glad I did it slightly early. Sure, now I get that one on that song. That tells Moon theme. Okay, wow, okay, that's, okay, had it not been that for that one save, I'm pretty sure that would have been a perfect, that would have been a perfect, man, that save just held me back, that one bit, oh man, you know what, you know what, no, no, I'm not ending it off on there, I'm gonna retry. And I'm gonna get a perfect on that. If, if I am that close to getting a perfect on that one, I have no non-guarantees that I am not gonna get a perfect on this one. I don't care how long it takes me to perfect that one note, I am going to get that. And I'll be right back once I have perfected the whole song. I mean, maybe I feel lucky I might be able to show it off again, probably on a separate channel, or maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Yes! Alright! Oh man, I think like after 
half an hour or something like that of recording this, maybe more, I don't even know. It's beautiful! It's perfect! <laughs> Gotta get a little low for that one. That might be a little too loud. Oh, we! And you wonder what that good, what good of that run that was? Only 41 goods and 457 cools. <laughs> that was amazing. Ah, another perfect off the bat. I am on a roll with these perfects. Yeah, woo! <laughs> that felt so good. Ah. <laughs> There was one time I got so close to getting a perfect, yet in this one note, like, towards the end, I kept going anyways, because I, I think it was, like, there was that one part of the note that I missed, and that caused me to miss the whole thing, but I am stoked. I love the song, and I'm so glad I have a perfect. 103.65. <laughs> yes! Granted, it's not Luku Luka Night Fever amazing, like, that's a 6.5, I'm not able to do that, I'm perfect, what? But, that's pretty good! That's, no, that's not, that's not pretty good, that's very good! Ah, <laughs> uh, Pretty challenging for 5 star. <laughs> almost, almost challenging. Anyways, thank you, Zachariah, I hope you're happy, because that perfect was a question mark, question mark, question mark, well, you got it. Thank goodness you didn't mention that in the 30th episode, it was, that would have been another super bummer. <laughs> I actually do need to eat more of that. I, have, I still have a back left of those. Anyways, thank you for that request, and let's move on finally to our next one. Alright, speaking of songs I haven't played in a while, actually, Afterburner, no, not Afterburner, um, Meltdown, I played, um, I, th I think, again, I mentioned 29, 28th episode. This one, I have not played since the 8th episode. The eighth episode. Think about that for a second there. But anyways, Afterburner was requested to us by M.M. who wanted Mako, did I say Miko? Mako on hard. Get, 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 get that image out of your head. <laughs> she wants hard with Mako. I actually meant to say that. Oh, I am going to get so many bad comments now. <laughs> And our objective is to improve that score. Well, with the outfit I chose, I went the suggested module, which is the border breaker operator, combined with the cabin attendant minus the hat and glasses. So it's part future tone, part pilot, part bayonetta. I know it's a weird combo, but trust me, it, it will work. It will work. Anyways, latest score is 65.25. For 5.5, that will not work. In fact, this won't even work on the 6.5. I'll, I'll need to work on that as well. <laughs> but with Afterburner, it's a Sega one. But I will say this, even though I love this version of Afterburner, Bayonetta 1 has the best remake of Afterburner ever. It is like my highest played song for... <laughs> Andela... Is that right? Andela... Andela Clock Tower. It's all the way high. I love listening to that song. Anyways, enough of that. Let's see how well I can do with this one. Maybe I'll get a great. I'm aiming for a great on this one because standard is not going to work for me. It's looking like it. Oh, I'm getting a lot of goods. I need to focus more.
Ooh, I gotta save. Make that three now. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, I got it! Somehow. I don't I wasn't really paying attention here. Oh, oh, ow. Ooh, that was Okay, I didn't quite get excellent, but major improvement over the last attempt. 86.43 is not bad, considering how many nuts that I missed. Really? I thought I missed me more than that. A lot of safes, though. 297, 82 goods, and uh, 297 cools. Uh, actually, you know what? That is a major improvement, and the goal was to actually improve the score, and I did. So now that is... I know that's an 86. 86.43, and the score was 257,599. Okay, not bad. So, I have definitely improved, and I am a-okay with that. Anyways, thank you, MM, for that request, and let's move on to our next one. How'd I get this for a repeat? <laughs> Anyways, Game of Girl Aya, actually from two weeks ago, requested this song. I just did... One of them with the Sonic outfit, which... Why am I even on the one with the Sonic outfit? Uh, I need to be on this one. Gaming Girl Aya requested how to get to be like this with Miku on either on um, on hard or we could have the option to watch the video, but um, I'll get into that at some point later on. Um, but we wanted it... We had to make her as weird as possible. Yeah, with Miku, it's almost impossible to make her weird. So I went with the Urban Pop with the Hana Kotaba hair, uh, because I wouldn't, couldn't really find anything weirder. Although, maybe flowers on top of her head would also be weird as well. Um, let's see real quick. Oh. Right, <laughs> because I have Taco Luka on there. Um, I also have, if I may go to the preview of this. Um, I cannot preview, can I? Okay. Um, I guess we'll move this just to show you guys a little bit of a preview. Teko Luka, Harmonica, and Hachuni Miku on the back. Oh yeah, and Cat Whiskers. It, it's weird to see Cat Whiskers. Almost looks like Ash Ketchum in a... In a ah! Put Teko Luka back on! Or Shark. Let's see. Yeah. Shark and Ash Ketchum. It's like he went on a Sharpedo Hunter or something. Okay, that works. So, our additional feature is make Miku look as weird as possible. Challenge or something is to describe what Miku's doing. Um, again, we have the option to play the game or watch the PV. But, but, I think what I'm going to do is something completely different. I'm going to be playing right now this song. However, future me will be describing what the heck Miku's doing. We're combining both aspects into one. I am pure genius, and therefore I should get a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, I wouldn't say Nobel Peace Prize, but something like that. Anyways, I hope to improve this score as well, but mostly, future me will probably, hopefully now, take over the spotlight. So, take it away, future me! Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Looks like she's uh, marching to the beat of her own drum, Corbin Blue reference. Then she's flying, and then she's quickly doing the monkey with the shark swimming fastly, and then she's twirling for some odd reason. She's twirling faster, oh my gosh, she's now Sonic. Swimming, doing the swim, I, I have no clue what that move. More swims, freeze frames, <laughs> the crazy leg from Sweet Life, more spinning, even more spinning like a pinball. More freeze frames, a lot of freeze frames. What, what is that dance called? She do the YMC. <laughs> Look how fast that shark's going. Like, jeez Louise. I don't think it's going that fast. More spinning. More spinning. Even more spinning. She, she, she's spinning around. She's got this funny feeling. Monkey in the backside. 
weird suggestions. <laughs> Game and watch walking, punching, posing, moonwalking. She's doing the moon. She did a moonwalk. Holy freak! I never knew she did the moonwalk in this one. That's actually kind of cool. Um, and then more running up to the camera. I and then I I missed that. And then, and then I had to repeat the phrase. It, she's running around at the speed of sound, like Sonic of the Hedgehog. She's she's stopping. She, she's looking to left, looking to the right. She's she's crossing the street. She's she's crossing all of the streets. And then original Eva pose, Hachuna Miku, doing the Mario run, she's swimming. Uh, no, that's swimming. That, <laughs> more posing, more posing, more more weird dancing. She's Shakespeare now. Do a Shakespeare thing at least. She's dancing. She's spinning. She's looking. She's she's making more poses. More poses. She's she's pointing at how good I am doing right now. This Ziva thing running, and, and then searching like a pirate, and then standing there, walking back, looking at us. Uh, and then she's uh she's doing that. She's petting the shark. Good shark. Doing poses now for for the backside. Of a uh, backside magazine, running, moonwalking, spinning, doing the Ash Ketchum adventure pose, and then lifting her arms up and sliding, and then me getting safe over here, and then she's running and then stopping and then running as so if she was on a treadmill, and then she's <laughs> she's spinning, she's doing even more spinning, she's uh, running very fast now. Oh my gosh, she's Sonic the Hedgehog! What the freak? I should have kept her in her Sonic outfit. I didn't know. I didn't think of that. Uh, more monkeys, more cute monkeys. It reminds me of Ia Ia. Remember that one from uh, the the eighth episode? Yeah. Well, thank you, future me. That was a great representation and interpretation of what the heck she's doing. Great big round of applause. Thank you. And thank future you. me, one more thing. Yeah. What was your reaction to this great right here? It was great, but you sucked. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you decided to join me today, future me. Thank you for Enjoy having yourself. me. Go grab yourself a cup of coffee or something like that, and um. Okay, we'll do. Have fun with the shark on your head. Wait, wait, what shark on my head? <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Again, great improvement. Uh, the thing that messed me up was a few notes here and there. Now that I actually like took a look at it. I wasn't distracted by video whatsoever. I actually focused on the notes this time. Actually, that leads me to one of the comments in my Diva X uh, playthrough when looking back at it. Uh, this was a more recent one, but I can't remember the name of it, but someone commented, this game is called Don't Look at the Background and Focus on the Notes. Or something like that. I can't remember, but... That is me! That is me! Right there. I don't know that that was to, like, <laughs> criticize me or... To, to poke fun, or if it's something I quoted, I don't even remember if I actually said that or not. But, overall, I am pretty pleased with this great. I've been doing pretty good so far, actually. A lot- uh, I've been improving the standards to become greats. I have made a perfect out of something that was already excellent, that I've taken my time out of my way in, uh, personal life, outside of the screen, to actually practice that, etc. So, I'm pretty content with that. I'm actually very happy with that. Anyways, thank you, Gaming Girl Aya, for that request. Sorry it took two weeks uh, as I'm recording this to get that up there, but hopefully you will understand. And let's move on to the next one. Break it, break it, push it to the limit. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. Anyways, next one comes to us from Blue Ninja PX, who requested break it, break it. Again, break it, break it, push it to the limit. I don't know why I keep saying that it has no quote no reference from any movie whatsoever i just made out the top of my head who wanted this song on hard with akita neru with the white eye patch over her face now no specific outfits but i figured since we're going with the eye patch this module which is a bodegine as actually looks nice it looks like a pirate theme sort of i don't think there's any other pirate things on there i could actually check uh just like be unique a little bit and make her like a, a adventurous sort of pirate i don't think there is one uh specifically in here but it's worth a shot okay nothing here nothing on the head either or, uh, except i don't know actually now i mean i could try let's see oh that's not even i mean that's pirate ish but it doesn't really look nice um that's good though i'll actually wear that 
It's like an anime pirate sort of thing. I like that. Uh, nothing on the chest, unfortunately, either, I don't think. Yeah, nothing on the chest that says, Arg, I'm a pirate. And nothing on the back, either. Well, that's unfortunate. That really is. I was kind of hoping... Uh, I guess this would count as a treasure chest of sorts. It doesn't really fit. Oh, well. Pirates don't carry their treasure. They just carry it with their hands. They don't have a bag or anything. They might have sacks, but... I'm not talking about pirates. Let's, let's just focus on the song, which I've not played before. But knowing how well I did with Hello Worker and how I got a grade on that, I can't imagine maybe I might get like a, a standard. I can imagine a standard or even a grade if possible. This is a 6.5. I've been able to perfect one. Look, look at Night Fever, as you can see right there uh, on the screen. But it could be different. It could be completely different for me. So we'll see. We will definitely... See how this goes. Man, this is taking quite a while. Is this a music video? Is this like an animated video or something like that? No, it's not. Okay, it just took a while. I don't know why I did that. Oh, this sounds peaceful. Do I ever gonna break it? Oh! I don't know if we are actually or not. I should stop talking, shouldn't I? Okay, had I not gone for that one safe, I think it might have been okay. But I told you I was gonna break it. I don't understand, okay, I kind of understand why it's considered 6.5, but, oh. Okay, yes! Okay, I did not mean, I did not want to get safe there, but so far I'm doing pretty good. I managed to finally get a three, no, there that's an accomplishment. I think I got... Did I get a grade on that one? Yeah, it looks like I got a grade. Good. Whew. I was worried there for a second. I actually got like a standard. I'm like, um, with how well I sort of did, I should not have gotten a grade on that. But I am shocked. I, I was actually able to get that three note. I guess it was the only one on there with the... It was square, triangle, circle. I was actually kind of surprised I was able to get that. No, it wasn't. Circle, it was uh, X, triangle, square. <laughs> I remember that one. I did good. I did good. On the first attempt... Another great! I like that song. It has that slow tempo and the close snows, I just had to push one button. Basically, I 
For the most part, I had pushed just like the the buttons on the right side, not so much on the left, which I like. I like it a lot. I think this is a, a really good 6.5 for me to practice a lot on. I said that for so many other songs. I really do. Let's be honest. Never get to practice in them, do I? But rank 18, again, not like it matters, just like the VP. Uh, 250,000, what am I gonna do with that? Absolutely nothing. That's what we're gonna do with them. Absolutely squat. Anyways, thank you, Blue Ninja, for that request, and I believe we have one more. We have one more. This is shocking. We are down to the wire, the last one. The 10th one, to celebrate 10th anniversary of Hatsune Miku. Fully where I kind of messed it up, but still, you get the idea. And how fitting that we conclude the 10th request for the 10th anniversary with something related to the 10th anniversary. A trumpet nightshade and honor the 10th anniversary. Take a shot every time I say 10th anniversary <laughs> if you're over the age of 21. Uh, 21 and over. Kids do not drink at home if you're watching this for some odd reason. Who requested our first song we ever played on Future Tone, on hard with Miku, and using the first macho that I ever used that wasn't the default. Well, <laughs> I'm assuming you meant something the first song that I played in Future Tone in, in uh, I almost said for the first time, uh, Minute 3-9, but little did you know, I actually did a test video before I even got Project Diva X, well, before I even uploaded Project Diva X playthrough. In which I did Weekend or Girl in Japanese. Haha! <laughs> Didn't think of that one now, did ya? However, you got me thinking of the first mantra that wasn't a default because when I did Weekend or Girl, it was the demo, and I really just remember uh, the demo as well. Also, she mentioned add some accessories. So, the first mantra I ever used that wasn't a default, but that was Miku specific, was in Ali DNG as part of the voice remix, which I have not done in ages. I had to go back and watch the episodes that had Future Tone, and the 8th episode, actually no, I think it was the 7th, no, 7th episode was Diva X, and the 8th episode, if I, rem if I actually remember that, was actually Future Tone, and the first one that wasn't the default was actually this one. Now, in terms of accessories, I decided to go with my first accessory that I ever used, if I can go there, was the goggles. That was on any character period. I could have gone with Miku, but actually I think that was the first accessory I ever put on here in Future Tone 2 was the goggles. Um, for the back, I just went with Light Wings just because I'm going with uh, Angel Wings here for a second. There's completely obvious Mark saying, hey, dummy, put wings here. So I just wanted to do that. And this, since this is hard, and since Oh, you know what? I am so close to perfecting that. Ah, uh, do I go for another perfect one? <laughs> Make this recording two hours? It's already been like an hour's worth of recording. Oh man. Um, I'll do this first time, and since this is a song I've been playing ever since, again, I got the Japanese demo of Future Tone because I didn't think it was actually going to be released in the North America at the time. Let's honor the moments and let's go all out. Let's do this for the 10th and for the ending of this special long episode of Minute 39. I'm pumped! I'm hyped! Punch it! Oh yeah! I need to focus though. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is good. I think I did it! Alright! I think that was like my third attempt of doing that! And... Man! The third time was really... Really easy! I don't know why, but... That's another perfect in the bag, in the special Miku Month startup episode of Mini 39. That is a really, really great start. Miku Month, if I say so myself. And mind you, this isn't the biggest thing right now. I have the Diva X V2 coming soon. I have scripted videos. But this is a start to, of all starts. So much that I'm messing up words as per usual, but who cares? Who cares? I've done it. Two perfects. So many greats. So many improvements on so classic songs. I am so glad I decided to make this a 10 request episode to start off Miku Month. This is amazing! This is the best start around! I'm not, I'm not messing around, I'm being dead serious. 102.29. Let me take a look at all these perfects I have so far. Let's take a look at all the perfects that we have. Um, how do you, okay, there we go. Song of Life, Luka Luka Night Fever, Hand in Hand, which I've done my own time, 3-9, Tell Your World, Cat Food, Weakender Girl, Packaged, Strobe Nights, Finder, and Meltdown. Is that it? Oh, we, yeah, because we're score-wise. That is 11 songs, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 11. 11 songs. I'm perfect. 11 songs. I'm perfect. And I love it. I love it. Uh, so far, our highest uh, perfect is Luku Luka Night Fever, and our lowest one is Packaged. Just, just so we're clear on that. Most of them are five, but still, it is improvements. It is major improvements, and I'm loving every single step of it. With that being said, though, I need to shut up and close this 10th... Or, not this 10th. This special 10th anniversary 10 request episode. Good note. Good note. Okay, anyways... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are excited for Miku Month. This is definitely a fantastic start to Miku Month. If you guys have enjoyed yourselves, please definitely hit the like button, as it does show you support. Of course, stay tuned by subscribing and ringing the bell so that you don't miss any content from Miku Month. And if you're not a fan of Miku videos that aren't Miku, in fact, I have one coming out in the near future. Uh, maybe this weekend as well, I don't really know yet. Anyways, with all that being said though, my name is Blake, also known as the Nerd, and I'm signing off. Stay 10th anniversary, Kawaii!